So we know that opioid medications cause constipation. How does this happen? So opioids are, have specific targets in different parts of the body. We have what we call as receptors on muscles and nerves that have a special liking or affinity for opioids. So when we take opioids, they get absorbed and then they latch themselves onto the specific receptors, changing the function of those receptors and that particular area of the nerve and muscle. So in the gut, opioids have a predilection for slowing gut motility. So they slow stomach movement, they slow colon movement, and by this effect of opioids on gut function, they actually change the bowel function. There is another important aspect that we've just recognized recently, and that is, uh, in addition to constipation, opioids can also trigger pain. Now, which sounds somewhat oxymoronish, really, because opioids are given for pain, but what recent research has shown that opioids have a dual effect, at least in the gut. They have a short-term pain-relieving effect, and they have a longer-term inflammatory effect on the gut nerves. So when the nerves become inflamed, then it causes pain. So unfortunately, the same opioid that is actually relieving pain is also having a opposite effect of causing pain by damaging the nerves. So and the patient cannot discriminate because they're having pain, but there is this unfortunate side effect of opioids that one should be familiar with. So opioids have multiple effects on the gut, uh, nerve-mediated, muscle-mediated, constipation, as well as pain.